If you're directing one of your first shows, then this video is for you. We're talking about five keys to working with actors. And to make it a little more fun, see if you can spot the key as it moves around the set during the video. Let's do it. Key number five is to set the stage for creativity. It's the director's job to help the actors be their most creative selves. One of the best ways to do this is to set clear expectations early on. So if you imagine that working on your show is like playing an epic game of hide and seek, then you know that the first thing you do when playing a game is to set boundaries. Okay, anywhere in the house is in bounds, but you can't go outside. When you set the rules and bounds of the game, you create a safe space for everyone to confidently play together. In your show, this means ensuring that actors have a clear understanding of how the rehearsal process will go and also of the world of the play. And that brings me to... Key number four, cast a clear artistic vision. Any show can be done in any number of ways. Is this a historically realistic telling of the story or a romanticized version? What central theme are you focusing on? Uh, what do you want the audience to feel during the performance? What do you want them to walk away with? Solidifying your artistic interpretation and then clearly communicating that with the cast is imperative or else you end up with what I call actors not being in the same show. An example of this is when one actor is maybe playing out to the audience in a more presentational way and their counterpart is not, maybe speaking to them in a very realistic way. Neither is inherently wrong. The actors just don't appear to be in the same show. The artistic vision was either undecided by the director or not clearly communicated to the cast. And next we have... Key number three, foster collaboration. Now, going back to the idea of rehearsing a show being like an epic game of hide and seek, we all know that playing that game wouldn't be any fun if somebody tried to tell us this. Okay. Um, I want Carl to hide in the laundry basket. Uh, Samantha, you are in the pantry. And uh, Willie, you are hiding under the bed. Well, I'm sorry that you're scared, Willie, but that's your spot. So, um, okay, and Frida. Okay, when you come to find them, I want you to first find Samantha and then Carl, and then, okay, we're all gonna like look around for a second like we don't know where Willie is, and then at the last second, we'll find him. That would take all of the fun out of the game. As a director, yes, your job is to set boundaries, to create that safe space, and to give the actors the tools and support that they need. But your job is also to give them the space and the freedom to make their own artistic choices. Striking this balance can be very difficult and it will look different for every production based on the maturity and experience of the actors. Some will need more support and some will need less. But no matter their level, in your direction, always strive to leave room for actors to make some of their own artistic choices. When you do this, they're acting generally comes off as more truthful. They can surprise you with the inventive choices that they come up with. And your show really comes to life because it's the combined efforts of many artists. Which brings me to key number two, ask good questions. One of the best ways to foster collaboration is to ask good questions rather than just telling them a lot of information or your thoughts on the matter. For example, if your actors are supposed to look nervous on stage, but is just not reading. So rather than going and telling them, no, do it like this and showing them how you want them to look, ask some inspiring and specific questions. So where in your body does your character hold their tension? That nervous energy has to go somewhere, right? So are you feeling hot? Are you feeling nauseous? Are you feeling dizzy? How can you deal with that 
and try and make yourself feel better. I wanna see more of that. Guiding them in this way will always yield much better results and help your actors know that you value their artistic input. And before I get to key number one, which is arguably the most important, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button. If you made it this far in the video, then you are really gonna like the new content that we have coming. Because at Empty Space Artistry, we make theater and we wanna encourage you to make more theater. So come on, hit that subscribe button and join our theater family. Okay, last but definitely not least, key number one, remember that actors are humans first. I know this sounds obvious, but it needs to be said. The number one way to support your actors is to care for them as humans. Every actor has their own unique process. And as a director, it's important to respect and accommodate this. Also, humans have baggage. And try as we might to avoid this, sometimes we bring our baggage with us into our work, into the rehearsal process. Part of being a director is being aware of this. When are your actors maybe dealing with stuff and how can you meet them where they're at and inspire them? What do they need in that moment? What works for one actor might not work for another actor and how you inspire one actor might be totally different from another actor. Be open and aware of each person's intricacies and uniqueness. It's a huge job, but a very rewarding one. And there you have it. If you use these five keys to working with actors, not only will you create a great product, but you will also become a director that actors love to work with. And here's where the key was hiding. Here, 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 and here. Did you find all five? Let me know in the comments. See you next time.